What's up guys? I'm gonna try something a little bit new and that is to do a shorter intro. So we're at Kansas, we're starting second. There's 12 guys and uh, custom setups. It's gonna be a short little race, about eight laps. I know you guys have seen some of the longer ones. So let's get into this. It's gonna be an action packed race here in Kansas. All right, so we got eight laps to settle the score here. And we're just trying to not crash at the beginning here. I kind of miss my shift which now causes me to now have to defend fourth, as you can see the guy in fourth right behind me. But I get a nice draft to first, and he makes a mistake, so that ends up effectively putting us on the high line here. And as you can see, I execute a perfect run into that high line, but now we got this guy drifting up to try to do a crossover. He kind of does it late, and I could be a little pissed off at that, but thankfully didn't hurt my car too much, and we're still on the first lap. So I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He kind of drives me up the racetrack again, but again, a suboptimal uh, turn by him. So he's going to have to cross over. Doesn't work. So now we're in first place. And just as we were guarding fourth place, now look at me go to the inside so he doesn't catch my draft. And I swerve up to the outside. This next portion of the race here is characterized by what I call mirror driving. So I'm basically just trying to hold this guy back. And as you look at my eyes, I'm watching the mirror. I'm not even watching the racetrack my eyes go down so now I'm just gonna focus on the turn but I, I want you guys to look at where my eyes go it's always good to focus on yourself as we just barely clipped the wall there but watch my eyes I haven't even looked but they're up they're looking up and we're trying to avoid him catching our draft so that's basically what we're doing guys each one of these straightaways we only have basically five and a quarter more laps and we barely touch the wall that's not gonna be good he's gonna try to get a little run on us now but we're, I'm looking right up at that mirror. I'm looking right up at that mirror, guys. I promise I'm looking probably half and half at the mirror and half and half at the actual track as we drift it up into turns one and two. So we're just hanging tough on that outside. He's catching us, and I go right to the inside. I'm trying to avoid him catching our draft, but I can see him. He's really close now. So now I just got to try to hold that lead, try to get right up in front of him as he tries to cross over. Now into second place, almost, but... He's got the inside, which is not really the preferred line. So to me, I'm glad he's right there. But he does come up right up alongside us. And now he's going to paint it right up alongside and take that inside line. I'm not sure that's going to work out too well for him. But now coming off of turn two, I'm going to try this again. I look up and I pull it down. Now he tries to follow and I pull back up. So I'm really just trying to avoid the battles, right? Because if he can catch up, he'll get other attempts to try something on me. But now I'm coming off of turn four. There are only three laps to go. So now he's kind of, it's kind of unavoidable at this point. He's got the run and he's going to get the draft. So with three laps to go, I can just try and pray that he doesn't. But he is right up alongside me. I drift up right towards the wall and I make a crucial mistake coming off of turn two. He's going to see that. And now I pull down, but he's not having it at all. He's just going to focus on his line because he thinks that he's a little bit faster than me. And maybe he can make something happen on the front stretch here. So he's catching our draft pretty well. Now we're on the front stretch and he's got us. He's basically got us in his sights. So now I see him on the inside and I'm like, all right, maybe he tries to execute this pass as he absolutely goes for it and sends it. I let off and I just freaking send it right through the bottom, totally annihilating whatever his plan was. And I just block him right up over him, right in front of him. And I say, not today, buddy. You're gonna have to try that again. So he does give us a little tap but we end up using that tap and we're gonna get off turn four with a nice run. So we only need to do this for one more lap and we've built quite a gap now. As you look in the mirror, I'm looking at it. And now we got one more lap. I just gotta send it around this outside as quick as possible. Don't make a mistake. As you can see, I'm going right up along that wall and I make sure not to make a mistake and I get a nice run. So I'm gonna try and cut off any runs that he could possibly get. I'm going up. He's trying to follow the draft because he knows that any chance he has is with the draft and he's just gonna send it make one last final attempt but it's futile and we get the win here we're coming off a of turn four and i think that was a beautiful move right at the end we did that nice crossover ended up winning us the race Woo! all right guys that was a pretty pretty intense race for what it was um i like these little eight lap shootouts because you're really really just on the edge it's kind of a simulation of like you know sometimes in nascar the caution comes out right like in the last 10 laps and you have to just gun it and you have to just go so pretty pretty cool stuff that we saw there um you guys saw i believe he um with with two laps to go 
He ended up momentarily taking the lead. Um, I purposely um, allowed what was happening to happen where he got up on my inside. So then basically, if he's up on my inside, I'm ripping the high line either way. So if he tries to cross over, I left myself just enough of a gap to come under, but I was already had the momentum from the high side. I drift up under him and then I cleared him coming into three and four and then basically just ripped that high line. And by the start of the last lap, it looked like it, it had pretty much been too much. Maybe his tires were shot, something, but he just didn't have it. So pretty, pretty epic race, guys. If you guys liked that video, please let me know. I thought it was one of my best so far. One of these best intense races. I love it. Um, a lot of times I find this stuff to be really, really, really fun, really entertaining. And this one was pretty educational as well. A little bit of an awesome pass took place there. One of my best, one of my best works in uh, crossing that guy back, back over. If you guys liked that video, um, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, comment down below what you'd like to see. And if you guys really could maybe leave a like that really, really helps us. So thank you guys for watching and I will catch you on the next edition of ZBC Racing. Thank <laughs> you.